Hi guys, welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to work with IAM permission boundary in AWS cloud. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is permission boundary and its, its use cases. So in simple term, permission boundary means IAM restrictions, similar to your organization's um, service control policy. Permission boundary is an advanced AWS IAM feature in which maximum permissions that an identity based policy can grant to an IAM identity uh, that have been set where those entities are either user or role based. So when a permission boundary is set for entity, that entity can only perform the action that are allowed by both its identity based policy and its permission boundaries. So let's try to understand the use cases with an example. So let me open my slide for you. Hey guys, you can see in the my slide, I have an IAM group named demo group, right? Which I have assigned EC2 full access permission. And I have one IAM user here. IAM user name is Bob and it has EC2 read only access. Now my requirement is that to add this user to the group uh, that is demo group so that he can access the group advantages. So what I did, I just simply attached this user to in this group, right? After attaching this user into the demo group, Bob user get two permission. First one, that would be EC2 full access permission. This is the on the basis of group based. And second one is EC2 root only access, right? That is individual permission. But for the security reason, what my requirement would be, even I attach that user in the same group, but I want to restrict some permission access from the entire EC2 full access, right? Uh, might be later on, once this new member will be settled down in my project, I will remove this restriction boundary. So this thing can be done by the IAM permission boundary. So you can see here on the left side circle here, uh, after attaching this user into the demo group, user have full EC2 access, right? Which is the on the based of group level. So this is known as identity uh, based policy. And on the right side, we can see that the permission boundary is written here, for example, like EC2 read only permission. Okay. So what will the effective permission, the common permission, right? Like this, what will the common permission between the identity policy and the permission policy within EC2 full access entire here, EC2 root only is there. And for the permission boundary, EC2 root only is also there. So in the case of effective permission, I'm talking about effective permission that would be common permission between both of them. It means it has only read only access permission, right? So even user have EC2 full access on the behalf of demo group, but if we set the permission boundary, user will be only get effective permission, the common permission that is EC2 root only permission, nothing else. So let's into the demo session and I will show you how we can implement this thing. Okay. So let me go back my AWS console. Let it be refresh. Okay, guys, you can see currently in I am in North California region and there is no EC2 instances available here. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to launch one EC2 instance with common default setting. So click on the launch instance, go to the instance, click on the launch instance, assign the name. I said demo server, demo EC2 and scroll down, go to the default setting. So key pair, currently I don't have any key pair, so I'm going to create a new key pair, but if you have the existing one, you can go with the new one. So create key pair, I said demo, scroll down, create key pair, and scroll down, and just simply click on the launch instance. So I go with the default setting, and I simply launch EC2 instance, right? Now, uh, it will take some time, move to the other step, second step. Okay, so view on the all instances, it's current status in pending right now move to the next step which is i'm going to create a im user which is bob in my case with ec2 read only access right so i click on the im console right click open a new tab here i am let it be close okay loading okay now you can see this is my IAM dashboard currently I don't have any user group and users are there right so click on the user and just make a simple uh, demo user and I'm giving the name is Bob and just assign EC2 read only 
permission so say bob and click on the access key or go with the aws management console so i'm going to the aws management console scroll down and give the custom password password is i said google at that one two three four let me check yes user must create new password xnox login so no i don't required click on the next and the permission so what i will do attach existing policy i said ec2 read only permission okay go to the next 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 and register and done close okay so now i have successfully created a user which has aws console access and only one write that is ec2 read only access okay bob is there now I move to the next uh, which is create a demo group with ec2 full access permission so similarly i can click on the group option and create a group give the name group i said demo group scroll down attach the permission and permission is ec2 full access so here it is amazon ec2 full access just apply and it's creating the group yep view group you can see that view successfully created and you can see that currently till now i didn't attach any user right in this group so if i try to open my incognito window another window let me open new one okay and let me copy the url path from here uh, this url and try to open here in this one and if i try to log in with bob user let's see what what we can do that with bob user can bob user able to see my ec2 resources or he can stop or terminate ec2 instances let's check so if i log in with bob and the password is google eight one two three four let me log in okay click on the ec2 okay yes now you can see that bob is able to view the resource under the north california region i am in the north california region and let it be go to the this instance max just close that one done but can i can i uh, stop and terminate this instance let's see Just click and go to the instance state let me stop stop hey no i can't do that because i do i have only ec2 write access right and even i didn't attach this user to the uh, demo group okay so you can see that bob is able to only view the resources he cannot he's not be able to stop and terminate the instance because he has only individual ec2 read only permission so on the next step i'm going to attach this user into the demo group what i will do i go back on the my uh, group section here and from here i am open my group and just click on the add user select your user recently i created only bob so bob is there add user added to this group so now if i scroll down you can see the bob is there okay so now you can see that he is able to stop the instance and and because let it be checked let me i'm try to stop it select that one try to stop i'm able to stop that one hey it's not that give me one sec let it be hard reboot okay select one more time let it be stop yes successfully stopped okay so now what does it mean uh, he is able to stop the instance and even he can start a terminate do whatever what he want because he has the full access from the demo group right so now this is the scenario as per our my figure this is the scenario if i go back again my slide Where's my slide? Uh, here it is. Now he has EC2 read only access and EC2 full access. Okay. Now uh, move to the final step, which is set the IAM permission boundary. So I'm back on my IAM user console. Let it be. Let it be go back again here. And uh, first of all, let me start that one. Definitely, I should be able to start it also because I have the full right. Let me check. Hey, no. Okay. Let me refresh. select that one started sounds good now go back on my 
uh, this one now I am back on the I am user section and uh, if I go to the user section uh, the Bob is there and I've scrolled down and if I go to the permission setting scroll down here now you can see I have two permissions say Amazon EC2 read only access and which is directly attached and one more with from the group that is EC2 full access right so under the permission boundary is not set so uh, as per our uh, as per our slide the common permission would be only EC2 read only access okay so let it be the permission boundary set first so click on that one set the boundary give the permission say I said EC2 read only access let it be check okay here it is set the boundary okay now scroll down let it be checked permission boundary is set successfully okay scroll down here it is so now EC2 read only permission AWS managed policy is set so as again my figure is here it is see effective permission is only EC2 read only even user have the full right but he is only view to get the EC2 read only permission so let it be try one more time here I am first of all I'm going to reload this page or refresh that page so if I try to stop that instance again definitely I got the error because I have only EC2 read only access right even I cannot terminate and nothing I can do that except view that one so I'm trying to stop it I should get error yeah so guys see the permission boundary is working fine so this is how you can work an IAM permission boundary in AWS platform and finally this is the after, finally this is the end of this topic and hopefully you enjoyed to learn new things soon I will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else please reach out through my social media links which is mentioned in the description if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye